Hi, so um, what we're going to do, uh, I had a couple questions about this, such as, um, you know, how in the world is it uh, does not exist, uh, what happens, why isn't it zero, things like that. So the question that we have is, find the value of the derivative at the extremum, f of x is equal to x plus 2 raised to the 2 over 3 power. Now technically we're trying to find the derivative or a value at the derivative. In other words, f prime of negative 2 equals what? So the first thing we have to do, we have to take our original function f of x equals x plus 2 raised to the 2 thirds and we have to find the derivative of that. So I'm going to write the function down here. Now when we find the derivative, we use the power rule for the derivative. In other words, the 2 thirds comes down to the front okay. and then what we have to do, we have to take the 2 thirds and subtract one from it. Okay. So when we do that, that would be 2 over 3 times x plus 2 raised to the 2 over 3 minus 3 over 3, which in turn, 2 over 3 times x plus 2 raised to the 2 over 3 minus 3 over 3, which that would mean a negative 1 over 3 for your exponent. <clears throat> All right. So now when we go ahead and rewrite this, by using your laws of exponents, we have a negative exponent up here. So we can rewrite it using a positive exponent. So this would be a 2 on the top, and then a 3 times x plus 2 at the bottom, raised to the positive 1 third power. Now to rewrite this even further, 2 over 3. Now the 1 third exponent simply means you're taking the cube root. So this would be the cube root of x plus 2 and that would be f prime of x that would be your derivative now to find f prime of negative 2 f prime at negative 2 we simply just plug in a negative 2 and for every x we have in our derivative so that would be 2 over <coughs> 3 times the cube root of a negative 2 plus 2. So when we evaluate this, that would be 2 over 3 times the cube root of, well, negative 2 plus 2, well, that gets us a 0. Now, evaluate it even further, 2 over 3, and the cube root of 0 is 0, which means we have 2 over 0. Now, we can't have a zero in the bottom of a fraction, so that's why your answer would not exist, because we have a zero in the bottom of our fraction.